Celebrity Jeopardy! Now entering the studio are today's celebrity contestants. From Wheel of Fortune, the star of the world's favorite game show, Pat Sajak. Academy Award nominee and star of the upcoming movie of the week, Fugitive Night, Terry Garr. And winner of five Golden Globes and seven Emmy Awards for acting, Ed Asner. And now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Thank you, Johnny Gilbert. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our studio, and welcome to the second of our celebrity games in the tournament this week, ladies and gentlemen. Charities, well-deserving charities, are going to benefit to the tune of over $150,000 in cash this week, thanks to performances by people such as these. Pat, Terry, and Ed, welcome aboard. Hope you have a good time and a successful time on the program. Here is the first round for you, the Jeopardy round. One daily double on the board in one of these categories. What do you think of these? First ladies, mm. the Fanny Farmer Cookbook. <laughs> Middle names, <clears throat> USA, foreign words and phrases, and finally, a category about the Chinese theater. Ah, this is the one on Hollywood Boulevard. <laughs> yeah, Ed, you get to select first. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, first ladies for 200. For 200, answer, she confessed, my life didn't really begin until I met Ronnie. Terry. Uh, Who is Nancy Reagan? Correct. I'll take um, First Ladies for 100. In 1992, Mount Vernon started a tradition of free admittance to women named Martha on her birthday. Terry. Who's Martha Washington? Right again. I'll take First Ladies for 300. She was married at the Plains Methodist Church in 1946. Ed. Uh, uh, who is Mrs. Carter? Rosalind Carter. You are right. You get to pick. Uh, 400 First Ladies. Theodore Roosevelt said at her wedding, there's nothing like keeping the name in the family. Terry. Who is Alice Roosevelt? No. Ed or Pat? Ed. Who is Eleanor Roosevelt? Eleanor is the oh, right response. Oh, so easy. First Ladies, 500. Appropriately, her White House portrait hangs in the bedroom named for her husband. Ed. Uh, who is, uh, Mrs. Lincoln? Mrs. Lincoln. Mary Todd Lincoln. You're right. <laughs> USA for 200. Answer. In the 1870s, there were rushes into the South Dakota area for land and for this. Ed? Gold. Uh, uh, what is the Badlands? Uh, and... Ed, we don't need a soliloquy. <laughs> All we need is a question. You want to try it again? What is gold? That's it. <laughs> now, you get to pick again. 400 USA. All right. This Tar Heel State is also nicknamed the Old North State. Pat. What is North Carolina? You're right. You uh, USA for 100. Answer. There's a macadamia nut festival in this state every year. Terry? What is Hawaii? Yes. Um, USA for 300. Though it's widely cultivated, the Monterey Cypress is native only to this state. Ed? Uh, what is California? Right. Pick again. Uh, 500 USA. The answer there is the one daily double, and that means you get to handle this clue all by yourself, and you have a lot of money, Ed. $1,700. Oh, yeah? <laughs> oh, good. How much of it are you going to risk? Oh, uh, uh, we'll, uh, we'll risk, uh, uh, $1,500. $1,500. Big bet on this clue. The 50 states touch these three oceans. Atlantic. Remember your phrasing. Oh, what is the Atlantic, the Pacific, and the Caribbean? Oh, sorry, incorrect. What is the Atlantic, the Pacific, and the Arctic Ocean? Remember Alaska up there oh in the far north. Goodness. You're now down to $200, and Pat Sajak has taken over the lead. It's amazing how I did that. Thank yes, you. a brilliant performance by Pat, who did it by remaining silent. Thank you. We'll take a break. We'll come back and conclude the Jeopardy round after this.